Division III college football, Baltimore, Maryland. Johns Hopkins squaring off with Moravian College in a Centennial Conference showdown. Homewood Field picked things up in the second quarter. 3-0 Blue Jays, first and 10 from the 43. Good protection for David Tamaro. He fires complete over the middle to Ryan Hubley. Hubley spins out of a tackle at the 40. He picks up a block at the 30, and he's forced out of bounds at the 16, a 41-yard gain. Three plays later from the Moravian 8, Dane Rogerson takes the handoff and follows a wall of Hopkins linemen to the goal line. Rogerson rolls into the end zone. The Blue Jays take a 10-0 lead. They were just getting started. Later in the second from the Greyhound 45, David Tamaro takes the shotgun snap, looks left, then finds his target down the right sideline. Harrison Wellman catches the ball in stride and strolls into the end zone. Wellman stepped out of bounds on the play, but the referees ruled he was forced out. 58 yards on the touchdown, add seven points for Johns Hopkins. Still in the second quarter, the Black and Blue Jays defense starts to flex. Third and seven from the 32. Greyhound quarterback David Lapoitevin gets sacked by Wes Brantner. On the next offensive series for Moravian, second and 12 from their own 38, Lapoitevin floats the ball toward the sideline, looking for Roberto Diaz on the wheel route, but the pass falls right into the waiting arms of Robert Fletcher. Back the other way, Fletcher on the interception return, taking the diagonal tack deep into Greyhound territory, tackled at the 17. With the first half drawing to a close, first and goal Johns Hopkins from the six. David Tamaro rifles a touchdown pass to Ryan Hubley. A big second quarter for the Blue Jays, 24-0 home team at halftime. In the third, Johns Hopkins picks up right where it left off. David Tamaro caps off a seven-play, 77-yard drive with a 15-yard touchdown strike. Harrison Wellman collects his second score of the game. That made it 31 to nothing. Moravian now desperately needing a big play, and they get one. Roberto Diaz breaks into the open field on second and three from the 31. Diaz races across the 50. He's finally dragged down by Robert Fletcher at the 33. Over 100 yards rushing in the game for Diaz, 36 on that play. Same drive, the Greyhounds now facing a third and 18 from the 44. Corey Toll gets pressure on the quarterback, and as he's dragged to the turf, David Lapoitevin gets the pass off. Eddie Olson makes a diving catch, but the play only nets one yard. Meanwhile, Johns Hopkins kept it rolling. Fourth quarter now, first and 10 at the Greyhound 22. David Tamaro hits Jonas Larson on the screen pass. Larson picks up 19 yards. Next play from the three, Tamaro. He threw for nearly 350 yards in the game. He does it with his feet here, into the paint, untouched. Johns Hopkins extends its lead, 38 to nothing. Finally, Mike Everly boots a 45-yard field goal for the Blue Jays. Johns Hopkins shuts out Moravian, 41 to nothing, under the Friday night lights. We saw what they were trying to do early on. Uh, they came out with, with the run package that was working. So we needed to find ways that we could stop that, and we figured it out really early on. The beginning of the game was we didn't execute great. You know, wasn't what we planned. But you know, I think the second half for sure, and end of the second quarter, we started balling, we started rolling, and I think Hopkins' offense is back. I think that was a good showing for the second half. Yeah, we know we got a great quarterback, a great offensive line, receivers that can make big plays like that. So I think uh, we made a lot of big plays, and everybody you know pitched in and did their part.